Prior to getting sober, I was drinking three to five nights a week, around 12 to 14 beers per night, and I was in very bad shape, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, and spiritually. Today I have 30 days of continuous sobriety from drugs and alcohol, with alcohol being my drug of choice. In this video, I wanna talk about why I did it and how I've done it. What's going on guys, my name is Noah and I am so incredibly happy to communicate to you guys, whether you're subscribers or just passive viewers, that today I have 30 days sober. This is the longest I've been able to get sober for about two and a half years and I'm extremely grateful. What I wanna to try to do today is speak as much as I can to the facts of my life and try not to wander off in too many of the random thoughts and feelings. To the best of my ability, I do very much like tangents and I like to ramble. I was drinking a lot. My depression and anxiety was, was getting worse and worse and worse. My finances were in trouble because I was spending a ton of money on alcohol every week and then consequently a bunch of money on food. I was coughing up, I would roughly estimate anywhere between 120 and $180 a week on alcohol and then the food that would soon follow. So my finances were struggling. My relationship was struggling with my wife. We weren't talking as much. We were feeling more distant. I was spending most of my nights down in my living room alone while she went to bed alone. It put a major strain on our relationship, our connectedness. Physically, I was not doing well. Uh, I wound up in the hospital in December with a rare case of rhabdomyolysis. And one of the things that perpetuated that condition was that I binge drank after sustaining muscle injury. But the point is I couldn't not drink on a night where my body desperately needed, needed me to be sober. And it led to dehydration, put me in the hospital at risk of dying. I also was having gastrointestinal issues like you wouldn't believe. I was having chronic diarrhea, I believe I had ulcers in my stomach, gastritis, and I was in constant anxiety and fear of some major physical catastrophe. Like I obsessed about it all the time, but I couldn't stop drinking. I also wanted to stop drinking. Factually speaking, my drinking increased as soon as I declared that I was scared, I needed help, and I wanted to get sober in late January. I didn't get sober until April 11th, so I spent two and a half months ramping up my drinking, ramping up my drinking and driving, ramping up my anxiety, my depression, ramping up my uh, financial issues. Everything just got way, way worse. Today, we're gonna focus on the solution a little bit more than usual for me, and I'm so happy to be in the solution because I've been in the problem for quite some time. So, how did I do it? Well, one, I came to a place physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, and all of these other things that was desperate. And I came to the conclusion, beyond a doubt, that I was going to die either soon, in a car accident, driving drunk, slowly with some sort of chronic health disorder, mentally and emotionally, with a mental breakdown, my history of depression and anxiety, I was gonna, my relationship was gonna die with my wife. My finances were gonna die, my business was going to die, my self-esteem was dying. I truly admitted to my innermost self that I was dying, I was an alcoholic and I didn't wanna die. That was step one. Now, what I did, this is the part I love because the willingness to do this took what it took. It took a major beat down and a progression in my alcoholic behavior. That progressed hard, okay? But once I surrendered and became willing, what I did to get sober was very simple. I started a 12-step program. I went to a meeting in that 12-step program every single day. I got a drug and alcohol counselor and met with her every week. I got a sponsor in that 12-step program, met with him every week. I did every homework assignment that was assigned to me from my sponsor and from my drug and alcohol counselor. I participated in meetings and I was accountable to my sponsor regarding what meetings I went to, who spoke, and what the topics were. I fully surrendered to the process for the first time ever. I've been in and out of 12 steps, but I've never fully surrendered. One of the things that I've always struggled with in the past that I wouldn't say I struggle with, but I acknowledge is there now, is all of the unknowns in sobriety and recovery. All of these unknowns that I just can't explain, the higher power thing, the having a psychic change, the turning our will and our life over in 12-step programs, life without alcohol. I just don't understand it, right? My proclivity is to drink, to check out. That's how I relax. That's how I cope. That's how I deal. Alcohol is my answer. It's always been my answer, but it's also been the most notably destructive thing in my entire world. 
I really came to terms with what I did know about myself as opposed to being super concerned with what I didn't know. Here's what I know. I'm an alcoholic and my life is extremely unmanageable when alcohol is a part of it and I'm not working a recovery program. The two seem mutually exclusive now. Two, I know my body was shutting down on me, right? Those are facts. I was having ulcers and major physical problems. Three, I know that it has never worked in the past, me as a drinker. Me as a drinker, historically speaking, looking at the evidence in front of me, has always led to despair, depression, financial problems, all the things we've already spoken about. Four, I, I, I know that I can't control my drinking and I've never been able to. I know these things about myself. I don't believe those will change at all. In fact, all the evidence points to the very opposite. They just are getting way, way worse. And here's also what I know. There are men and women of all backgrounds, truly all backgrounds, who today are sober and happy and productive and fulfilled. And I want that because those are all things that I was not. Now, I'm certainly not here to tell you that 12-step programs are the only way. I'm obviously seeing a drug and alcohol counselor, as I said, so I'm getting outside help from those programs as well. But I can tell you that I am willing to do anything, no matter how scary it is, how much I struggle to believe. I, I don't care. I will do anything because I'm not going back. That's my mindset. I don't want to go back. I believe deep in my heart that I can have a complete complete change in, in perspective, a complete change in identity. And my life depends on it. That's how I got 30 days sober. And I'm not here to convince you, by the way, to get sober. But if you're suffering and you're wondering if there could be another way, there can. <laughs> there, there really can. You, you just have to completely surrender to that possibility and admit that you can't run the show anymore with your drinking. That's what I had to do. I feel so good today about that. What's happened since I got sober? I have become crazy productive compared to before. I've been able to wake up early, very naturally. I, my physical health has improved so much. I've lost eight pounds since I got sober, so my body has really, really changed. My outlook on life is already changing. I'm seeing things more clearly and having more honest reflections with myself. My relationships are getting better. And I'm enjoying the fact that I feel possibility again in my life to be my best true self. And quite frankly, I like that I'm pursuing a power greater than myself. We don't have to get into that. I'm not trying to freak anybody out. But I was leaning on only me and then faltering and feeling alone. So my finances are doing better. I'm feeling closer to my wife than I've felt in forever. I feel like I'm the true me starting to speak with her and I'm still discovering that. I'm going to bed with her at night. She's not going to bed alone anymore. The last thing I'll say is uh, my last night of drinking went something like me holding five or six 25 ounce malt liquor cans, coughing when I cracked them, burning ulcers in my stomach, pain in my heart, emptiness, confusion, demoralization. <laughs> well, my wife was upstairs asleep wondering if I'd ever stop drinking, wondering if I was gonna die a horrible alcoholic death, wondering if I was gonna kill someone the next time I drove. It was just a very sad, hopeless state. And I'm not saying my life is perfect, now, but it feels a million times better than it did. And even better than that are the possibilities that lay ahead. My world had gotten very small. It is now slowly getting very big. And, and that means so much to me. It's very nice to be able to look in the mirror again, look myself in the eye, and love the person looking back. Now, has my mood been perfect? No. Has my sleep been perfect? No. And has this been easy per se? No, simple and I'm willing, but not easy necessarily. But it's where I belong, it's where I wanna be. This is an opportunity, not a sacrifice. I'm humbled and I just wanna keep going. So if you are struggling with a drug or alcohol and you are curious to know about a different life, explore that and seek help. You can get help. If I can get sober, anybody can get sober because, oh boy, was I a hopeless drinker. So. 30 days sober. I appreciate you guys. Please share your story. Uh, you guys have been so supportive, so patient, so kind. My subscribers, that is. Uh, if you're new here, then you're just getting to know me. But this channel has really been through a lot of ups and downs with my drinking, with sobriety, with relapsing. Uh, I share my journey openly and, and faithfully, good or bad. 
and it's pretty heartbreaking to reflect on how bad things got on this channel. And I'm grateful that I was honest, but I'm so incredibly saddened by the people I may have triggered. Uh, that's a different video altogether. I know I'm getting off topic. I feel it. The message today was gratitude. I woke up today sober. <laughs> I went and spent time with other people who struggle with alcohol like me. Uh, I'm going to be productive and mindful of someone other than just myself, which is my, my nature when I'm in my drinking, and that feels good. So many things to come, one day at a time, of course. Yeah, adios, appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one.